Hey, Jim, why don't you come along with us? Well, I knew you'd ask me when it was too late for me to accept, but I didn't think it'd be this too late. Well, dear, you know you're perfectly welcome. Well, thank you, dear, but I'm too contented here. I don't think I could bring myself to leave my garbage disposal for that long. Some coffee? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. You mean you're gonna get it? Yeah. You're surprised? I'm sorry, Mrs. Huxtable. I didn't think you did that kind of thing. What kind of thing? You know, serve. Serve whom? Serve him. Oh, serve him! As in serve your man? Well, yeah. Let me tell you something, Elvis. You see, I am not serving Dr. Huxtable. Okay? Okay. That's the kind of thing that goes on in a restaurant. Now, I'm going to bring him a cup of coffee, just like he brought me a cup of coffee this morning. And that, young man, is what marriage is made of. It is give and take 50-50. And if you don't get it together and drop these macho attitudes, you are never going to have anybody bringing you anything anywhere, any place, anytime, ever. Now, what would you like in your coffee? Maybe I could get you some coffee. Ooh la la. And we didn't teach our daughters to sacrifice more than our sons. Mom? Yes? I'm not going to law school. I'll be working side by side with my husband. Sandra, what are you saying? You have always wanted to go to law school. You've never talked about anything else. How's the also book That's okay. It's okay. Andrew, I spent three hours cooking this meal. How do you think it makes me feel when you say, it's okay? Who asked you to spend three hours on dinner? Oh, I'll be patient with her kids. You know what? What's that, Dom? My husband thinks I'm special, too, and so do my five children. Mom, I'm not the one with the problem here, all right? You're the one always acting like she's running for mayor of Stepford. Rex, seeing that you're the head of this household, I would really appreciate you saying something. Pass the salt. Oh, it's very simple. She'll divorce him. You may think I'm crazy, but it is the women's movement that has destroyed the family unit. As a modern wife, I walked a tightrope between tradition and progress, and usually I failed by one outsider standards or another's. But I figured out that neither winning nor losing count for women like they do for men. We women are the ones who transform everything we touch. And nothing on earth is higher than that. What kind of problems could she have had? She was healthy, had a great home, a nice family. Her life was our life. I want a child. In case you've forgotten, before we got married, we made a deal. No kids. Yeah, well, deals were meant to be renegotiated. Well, we're not negotiating my uterus. Hi, Charlotte. Hey, Mrs. Connor, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, I just got this wife and mother thing going on. Don't you just love being a mom? It's the best job I've ever had. My mom came from a generation where women were supposed to be submissive about everything. I never bought into that, and I wish mom had neither. I wish he had made different choices. 